Hey guys, I'm Matt Hench, and this is not my usual video at all, but I was at this game last night, and this fight made a lot of news, a lot of people are talking about it. I just wanted to kind of give my input as to what happened, how it went down, and I also think that I probably have one of the best videos of it, and that it should be out there. So, let's break down this fight. Alright, so right off the bat, they were doing the face-off, and uh, the gloves came off, the helmet came off, and they took center ice. So... They knew they were going to fight. My guess is um, the red team, Shepard from Charlotte, was down a few at this point. I think he just wanted to get his team fired up. I think he wanted to get the crowd fired up. Just, you know, make it entertaining. Um, these are both teams enforcers, so these are the fighters. What I'm trying to say is it didn't seem like there was anything that provoked this fight. It just seemed like there were two fighters that wanted to get into a brawl. So you're going to have to watch this probably three times to see what happens. First, let's look at this red guy here, Shepard. They go, they both grab each other's jerseys, and then he gets hit one time right there. Probably only two times he gets hit, um, and that was one of them. And then, boom, left jab, left jab, Ooh, fake left jab, left jab, left jab. So he's feeling all these left jabs. He's kind of just grabbing the jersey, and boom, boom, boom. And then, uh, but here's where it really starts. Boom, haymaker. Winds up, haymaker. Winds up, misses that. Haymaker, oh! And he felt every single one of those. So here, you see he gets his elbow back for the last one. Um, that never gets delivered. That, that was not a hit. Um, and he lands on top of him. He looks, I don't know if he says anything to the guy. Um, I'm guessing he was just trying to make sure he was okay. He was not okay. He calls for the, the med team right away. He looks at him, turns, goes like this. All right, so let's watch that again. Um, but let's watch the Hershey Bear in white who, like I said, he gets one hit there. Got him in the ear. That's shoulder. He's just absorbing punches right now. Missed that. That was the shoulder. Missed that. And then, not really. That was kind of around the back. Boom! Hit him. Hit him right there. Shepard felt that a little bit. Um, and then that last punch just did not get delivered. You can see he is knocked out right there. Shepard is able to duck under that punch. And then he goes down. Okay, now here's the last part and the bad part. Up to this point, it was just a hockey fight, just a normal part of the game. This isn't barbaric, it's just part of the hockey culture. Like I said, they're both enforcers, they're both fighters. They're basically on these teams to do this. Um, but here's where things did not go well. So he's coming down. He's unconscious. Boom! Right there where he just hits the back side of his head on the ice is where the real problem happened. So, um, as you can see here, this guy, he calls for the med team um, because he just knows he's out. And Shepard, he wasn't trying to, I mean, obviously he was trying to hurt the guy, but that's clearly not um, Shepard's intention in this. He shows so much remorse that you can see here, he's bent over, he's upset, he's like, oh, I can't believe this, oh, I wasn't trying to do this, this never happens, this is hockey, come on, we were just fighting, this guy's a good fighter, he's one of the most penalized guys in the league, yep, come on, other med team, come on out here, this guy goes running, he realizes something is really happening, um, and then he comes back with all of this, this big kit, oh, nope, different guy, sorry, that's a ref. So they get everything out. They got doctors. They got an anesthesiologist. They got all the refs. Everybody's concerned. Um, and it's just not good. Like, like this guy's hurt. There's blood puddling onto the ice that they had to clean up later. It took forever. It was like 50 minutes before the play started again. Um, Shepard was so distraught. The whole team was distraught. Both teams went off the went off the ice into the locker room. I'm assuming just got talked to for like 30 minutes. They weren't sure what they were going to do. The refs were on the phone with like AHL 
AHL um, officials, I guess more officials, uh, the officials' officials, whatever. They were like, what do we do? I thought the game was going to end. Um, this guy, so he lost consciousness, regained it on the ice, but they, they put him on the stretcher. They, they wheeled him off. Um, he was in bad shape, but he was alert. He was stable. He seems to be fine. He's definitely in a lot of pain today, but it seems like he's going to be okay, especially since when he woke up, he said to the team, go beat him or go win the game or something like that. Like his head was there. He was still amped up about hockey. Um, I just wonder, you know, what was said in those meetings. I don't know, but there was not a, not a single fight after that. Um, a few checks that they, they were, they were playing, but you could tell they were all like, not not happy to be there either team. Um, the Bears did end up winning, I think five to one, six to one. Anyway, let's play that back one more time. We'll play it in regular speed and then we'll play it in slow mo. Here they are squaring up, taking center ice. Boom. Strike, 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 strike. Haymaker, haymaker. Boom, he's out. Oh, crap. All right, come on. Somebody help this guy. Let's go. We need help right now. And then here it is again, where Kessie is just taking a beating, absorbing punches left and right, literally. And that was the one. And then hit his head on the ice. Hopefully it helps clear some things up. And um, hopefully Kessie's okay. Felt really bad for him. Um, yeah. Go Bears.